Russia is embarking on a deep modernization of its most massive Su-30SM fighter. The goal of the program is to bring the aircraft performance characteristics to the level of fifth-generation combat vehicles. It should be noted that our Su-30SM today is already one of the best fighters in the world. However, despite its excellent characteristics, the aircraft is gradually becoming obsolete. In this regard, a decision was made in Russia to radically modernize the winged aircraft. At the same time, it was originally planned to confine itself to replacing the engine with a 117's power plant from the Su-35s. However, then the modernization program was decided to expand somewhat. The Su-30SM-2 Super Sukhoi version, to which all the Su-30SMs in service will be upgraded, in addition to the 117's engine, will also receive the latest multi-channel integrated communication, data exchange, navigation and identification system. This will allow the aircraft to communicate with the UAV and maintain high-speed contact with ground control stations. In addition, the second version of the Su-30SM will inherit from the Su-35 and the radar system, which will not only increase the detection range, but also allow the use of the latest weapons, including high-precision guided bombs and missiles. Thus, in fact, Super Dry from just a good fighter of the 4-plus generation becomes a full-fledged combat vehicle of the 5th generation. Formally, it differs from the latter only by the dubious characteristic of radar stealth and modern realities. At the same time, the deep modernization of the Su-30SM will ensure the unification of the maintenance of the entire fleet of aircraft, including the Su-35 and even the promising Su-75. At the same time as successive batches of Su-30SM are upgraded to the new version, the Ministry of Defense will receive factory new Sukhoi Su-30SM-2s. Perhaps it is the 21 new Su-30SM-2 fighters, contracted last year by the Ministry of Defense for Naval Aviation. The upgraded version of the Su-30SM will not only have improved combat features, but will also use various parts and equipment from the Su-35. As a result, the maintenance of a large fleet of both types of modern fighters will be simplified. This is especially important in relation to engines, the most expensive aircraft components. The Su-30SM-2 will receive the AL-41 F-1's engine, which is also used in the Su-35s. Compared to the power plant used so far in the Su-30SM, its thrust will increase by more than 16% to 14,500 kg at full post-combustion. In addition, it reduces the cost of maintenance by doubling the interval between revisions, now reaching 4,000 hours. Other improvements in plasma ignition made it more efficient, reducing its fuel consumption. Changes to onboard electronics and software will allow the use of new missiles and bombs designed to arm the Su-35 and the fifth-generation Su-57 stealth fighter. Other improvements include a new radar, the Urbacy, a powerful PISA-type radar also inherited from the Su-35. It will allow the Su-30SM-2 to detect ground and air targets from a greater distance, with certain anti-stealth capabilities. It will also allow the fighter to use the latest long-range missiles. The Su-30SM-2s will receive the latest integrated multi-channel communication, data exchange, navigation, and identification Osnod, system developed for the Su-57 and to be installed on all combat aircraft. Among its advantages, it allows aircraft and drones to communicate with each other, maintain high-speed contact with ground control points, and integrate into modern combat networks. Su-30SM is a multi-role fighter aircraft developed by JSC Sukhoi Design Bureau for the Russian Air Force. It is an advanced derivative of the Su-30MK combat aircraft family. 
The Sukhoi Su-30SM fighter was designed in accordance with the requirements of the Russian Air Force. It is being manufactured by Irkut, a company based in Russia. The first Su-30SM fighter designed for the Russian Ministry of Defense, MOD, performed its maiden flight in September 2012. The multi-role Su-30SM can be deployed in counter-air strikes, counter-land and counter-sea missions. It can conduct electronic counter-countermeasures and early warning tasks. The aircraft also acts as a command and control platform within a fleet of combat aircraft performing joint missions. Urkut and the Russian MOD signed a contract for 30 Su-30SM multi-role fighters in March 2012. The MOD plans to replace the Su-24 fleet with Su-30SM fighters. The MOD placed an order for the second batch of 30 Su-30SM fighters in December 2012. Urkut delivered the first two Su-30SM fighters to the Russian Air Force in November 2012. The Russian Air Force received four Su-30SM aircraft in February 2016 and Russian Knights, an aerobatic demonstration team of the Russian Air Force, received eight units in the year. Urkut delivered four units to the Kursk Aviation Regiment of the Western Military District, ZVO, in July 2017. The company handed over the first batch of Su-30SM multi-role fighters to the Kazakhstan Air Force in April 2015. The Ministry of Defense of Kazakhstan signed a contract with Urkut for another batch of aircraft in May 2018. The aircraft deliveries are expected to be completed in 2020. The first batch of Su-30SM fighter aircraft was delivered to Belarusian Air Force in November 2019. Belarus is expected to receive a total of 12 aircraft. The airframe of Su-30SM is made of titanium and high-strength aluminium alloys. It is based on the Su-30 MKI aircraft developed jointly by Urkut and JSC Sukhoi Design Bureau for the IF. The fuselage head has a cockpit, radar sections and avionics bay. High maneuverability was achieved through the integral aerodynamic form combined with a thrust vectoring feature. The Su-30 SM is capable of carrying an advanced weapons payload, weighing up to 8T. The aircraft can be armed with a machine gun, bombs, air-to-air -air missiles and onyx, yakant, supersonic anti-ship and land attack missiles. Developed by NPO Machinistroinia, onyx served as a basis for the BrahMos supersonic missile. Onyx has an operational range of 120 km to 300 km depending on altitude. The aircraft can engage aerial threats and ground and naval surface targets by deploying onboard air-to-air -air and air-to-surface guided unguided weapons. It can be fitted with anti-surface weaponry such as rockets and rocket pods for conducting land attack operations.